Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of... Dine in Who's Garage. Hey, today we got something special. What do we got here, son? C Cadillac Coupe de Ville. That's great, and this is going to be a car that we're using for our special build with the Beef Eaters, and it is the Cyberpunk build. And uh, in case you don't know what Cyberpunk is, I believe it is a video game. Uh, however, uh, we're going to explain that later. But what we have here is the uh, Cadillac Coupe de Ville from the uh, Pixar movie Cars and uh, one of their uh, die-cast line. So, uh, yeah, I think this will be a good uh, candidate for what we're going to be doing. So, uh, what do you say, son, uh, that we uh, get moving on starting this restoration by getting this up on the rotating car stand? Yeah, let's do it. Here we are. We have our... Uh, Cadillac Coupe de Ville from the Pixar movie Cars. I guess this was the big boss of Dynaco, but uh, he actually has a very cool uh, Cadillac. I kind of like this paint job, but of course you can see this car has its age. What do you think of the car, son? The car looks pretty nice. I like the cow print on top. It's just got one big chip. It's getting a little bit scratched and chipped up. It's lo it lost both of its rear view mirrors, and <laughs> the car looks pretty neat overall. Just Despite the chips. <laughs> well, that's it. Can't uh, deal with the chips. So, uh, yeah, we figured this would be a very cool car to sort of sort out a, uh, a theme build for uh, Cyberpunk. But what, cyber, what is Cyberpunk, you may ask? Well, we have our resident gaming expert here as a guest host, Leah, who's Andrew's sister. And she's going to tell you a little bit about what Cyberpunk is. Now, the design of this car is going to be based off of the game Cyberpunk 2077. It is a game that takes place in the year 2077 uh, in the futuristic city called Night City, uh, located in North California. Now, um, uh, this game is rife with uh, cybernetic enhancements, gang wars, and uh, a fully customizable character. Now, I highly recommend checking this game out. It does sound... Very cool. I can't play it myself, but it seems like a very interesting concept. Very good. Well, Leah, thanks. That's a very concise description. All right. Well, tell you what. Yeah, uh, the car that she was talking about uh, in the game, uh, be fully customizable, of course. Uh, the, the car that uh, we're looking to do here is the what's called the Vilfort Alvarado 570 Deluxe. So if you check out the game, you'll see that car, and it looks kind of cool with its uh, six-tire uh, sort of configuration. Uh, you saw the car, Andrew. What'd you think of it? I thought it was very cool with its paint job and its wheels. It looks so cool. All right. Well, tell you what. I think we've talked enough about this. Let's get into the restoration. Yeah, let's get to it. Mm, all right, folks. Here we go. <laughs> Our nifty little Cadillac Coupe de Ville from uh, Pixar. Uh, the Disney Cars franchise, and uh, I've already sort of taken the liberty of drilling it apart, so let's see what we got to work with here, and it's, uh, yeah, looks like there's not much to this at all, <laughs> as you can sort of see. We got the uh, chassis here, which just sort of fits in the two wheels, just they're plopped right in there, kind of like that uh, Johnny Lightning one we had, so we have that, and it's that's pretty much the base. The rest is all... One piece here, except for this interior uh, windows part, which we're going to try and pop out. Had a little bit of trouble doing it the last time, but oh, there it is. She comes out. And, ooh, look at that. So we actually have an actual windshield, which is good. And then this, oop, <laughs> this eyepiece, which is kind of like a, as you can see, the, oh, oh, I dropped that. Let me get that again. Yeah, there you go. The eyepiece, which kind of, as you move the car back and forth, the eyes would dart back and forth. And, uh, yeah, so there it is. There's not much to her. Just the uh, the, cha the body, the chassis, a couple of free-flowing tires, the uh, windshield, and the eyepiece. <coughs> there, folks, and uh, one of the challenges of this particular car here uh, is that there is no interior. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have to have it open, so we have to find an interior. And I think I have a few interiors lying around. So I think I have to sort of do something and uh, make an interior out of uh, a number of other interiors to see if we can get this car going. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> we have a couple of things that we can do. So we may have to cobble one interior out of a bunch of interiors. But uh, hopefully that'll work. We've cutting 
and I'm grinding a little bit once again with this. Uh, we've uh, managed to make the wheel well uh, bigger in front, and I think we may have to cover this uh, other portion of the wheel well, like right here. And I think I'd like it to be not as high because the wheels will be smaller to get the two wheel sets of wheels in there. And as you can see, we sort of also brought the cut back there closer to the door. And we got rid of all the little plastic bits and we've uh, de-anthropomorphized. <laughs> Made it look now more like a real uh, front of a car. If you can see, the mouth is gone and uh, so is the, uh, the horns that were on the front. So yeah, so now what we're going to do is get this into our stripper. And I got a new sort of stripper here that I'm going to try out and a new system. So hopefully I'm just going to drop this uh, car, give it a good dip and swirl into this here uh, stripper. There we go. Move it around a bit. That should be well coated. And then I'll just, there we go. I'll take it out and put it in our thing. And we'll see if this stripper will work any better than the last one. <laughs> Well, folks, that strip worked out really well. Check it out. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. Comes clean off in one shot. All right, everyone. Well, it worked out very well. That stripper worked good. So here's the vehicle. Now looking a little more like an ordinary vehicle, not an anthropomorphic car. What we're going to have here is a... Uh, festival of uh, sanding and polishing so yeah we're gonna try and sand down some of these lines and these rough spots and uh, after that gets done then we're going to uh, get some milliput and uh, fill in some of the holes and try and make it a little more smooth so uh, then after we're gonna have to play around with this interior and get the interior sorted out as well so we got our work cut out for us so uh, stay tuned and we'll see how it goes all right everybody well here we are we've been doing a lot of cutting and shaping and grinding here on this uh, plastic piece and i'll tell you getting this double axle affair was uh, quite finicky so as you can see we've uh, done the double axle for the front and uh, single for the rear and that wasn't too bad the rear one but these front ones were quite a challenge and uh, but so we first had the crazy glue them in, which uh, worked good for the first one. But uh, the second one, sadly, over here, that one was uh, just, I drilled, I guess, or dremeled a little bit too deep a channel. So the tires were sort of uh, one higher than the other, and that didn't work. So I had to use this great product, the old uh, JB Weld, uh, what do you call it, putty. And that works extremely well. We have it right here. It's called a steel stick, and uh, that's uh, pretty cool. It's sort of uh, a two-part putty, you knead it, and then uh, it gets this nice little uh, sort of paste that you can shape and stick in. So that worked well. And uh, to sort of show you how it sort of worked, I have these uh, axles, which are from uh, Red Greenlight, but they're too short. i got to make some custom ones using a bit of uh, more tubing, some uh, same sort of gauge tubing, but I'll cut these to make them a little bigger. Uh, but if I put these in like this, boom. I got a nice uh, double axle on the front, single in the rear, which kind of looks pretty uh, cool with regards to the, uh, let's just get that in. Ah, there we go. So that kind of looks okay. So there we are. Now all we got to do is address this massive sort of hole here, and we'll have a nice uh, sort of six-wheel uh, car like the uh, Cyberpunk uh, game has, and uh, hopefully once we get it to paint and everything, it should look pretty good. In addition, we've also got a, a chassis, and oh, not a chassis, excuse me, a uh, driver's cockpit here. And that fit in pretty well, right about here. And that'll go in. So now we'll have an interior when we put this thing together. So, uh, all in all, this thing, uh, hopefully, it's a bit finicky, but it should look. All right, folks. Well, here we are. We have our uh, sedan <laughs> sorted out here. And we've put a bit of a metal shielding here because we're going to put some of this uh, milliput over here into it. And it's going to you know, form into a putty of sorts, which will help with all these holes. What we've done here with these little metal pieces that you see, uh, we have put inside a little bit of, uh, well, you can see that, it's a pop can. So I cut that up and glued it onto the sides here, you see. And there we go, we have sort of a, a template and a uh, sort of a form that we can use to... Uh, have that uh, putty adhere to, and then 
All right, everyone. So we've done the uh, rough uh, milli putt here. We even put a sort of a full front on it here, which uh, make it look a little more futuristic, a little more uh, out of the ordinary. And it's rough right now, so we'll have to sand and shape this, but pretty much is what we're looking at. So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, once we uh, get this uh, sanded up and shaped, we're gonna have something really cool for paint. So stay tuned. Hey folks, well, <laughs> We have been doing a lot of taping here because we're going to give the body its first color coat and uh, just making sure the things that are going to be like chrome uh, or the roof are going to be covered off. So yeah, we'll uh, throw some paint on this then and uh, hopefully uh, start working on the interior and maybe we'll be close to getting this thing together. Stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, here we go. It's been quite a journey, but we've managed to convert our uh, Pixar Cars movie Cadillac Coupe de Ville uh, into a pretty cool cyberpunk Billfort Alvarado 570 Deluxe. What do you think, son? Looks pretty junky now, but we made it look super cool. <laughs> well, tell you what. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, get ready for the reveal and uh, show you hopefully we've uh, done a, uh, a good job of uh, making this look a lot like a game uh, sadly uh, you and Leah can't play until you get a few more years on you yeah more for me though yeah more for me though because I'm younger than my sister <laughs> that's right okay folks well without further ado let's, let's get, get ready, ready for, for the reveal. reveal all right folks and here we are our Cadillac Coupe de Ville from the Pixar movie Cars, except now we've changed it into the cyberpunk Villefort Alvarado. What do you think, son? The car looks really cool. I love the way you added an extra set of rims, and I like the color scheme you did on it. It's very cool. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. Eh? We did, tried to copy uh, one of the pictures we saw of the cyberpunk uh, Alvarado, but uh, yeah, this was a lot of fabrication. Uh, we, First time we did this much fabrication for a car, and I think uh, in the future, uh, hopefully we'll get a little better, but uh, not too bad. We used gem, the gems for headlights. We brought out the uh, headlights and made the front grille look a little more different than the original Cadillac, and uh, did it uh, in a new paint job, sort of broadened out the uh, pinstriping, and uh, yeah, we added an extra axle. So all in all, uh, there was quite a, work, a bit of work done on this one, eh, son? Yeah, there sure was. <laughs> well, tell you what. Uh, make sure you folks uh, check out all the other uh, cyberpunk builds uh, and uh, we want to thank the beef eaters for uh, putting this on because this was a, a really cool uh, a really cool build off and uh, gave us a chance to learn a little something new right yeah it sure does <laughs> all right folks we'll tell you what uh, we'll uh, play you out with uh, a couple of glamour shots and uh, remember if you like what you see like and subscribe and smash that like button. <laughs> right on, folks. And don't forget to share with all your other cyberpunk friends. Take care, folks. See you later, everybody.